Hey guys, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com and today I want to show you how to do the Recorder Man mic technique on a drum kit. This is a great way to record a drum kit if you only have two microphones because it gets a stereo image of the whole kit and it gets a lot of snare drum and a lot of kick drum and not a lot of room sound. And most of the time if you're recording with only two mics it's probably because you're in a home or project studio, you don't have a lot of money, you probably don't have a great sounding room either. We're in, a we're in a dining room, we're in a dining room. It doesn't sound great in here with a drum kit. So Recorder Man is a great way to focus in on the drums and not pick up a lot of the room sound and it can sound really, really good. So it's mostly for recording a kit with two mics. We're using it as overheads with some spot mics, but I wanna show you how to set it up, show you how to measure it right, and show you how easy it is, and then you can watch Speedy play and take a listen to what it sounds like. But let me show you how we got it set up. All right, so with Recorder Man, I'm using, in this case, I'm using two mid-diaphragm condenser microphones. These could, you could use large diaphragm condensers like your typical vocal mic. You could use small diaphragm condensers like those little pencil mics. Either one, but you want a pair. The first mic is right above the snare, okay? So, Speedy, if you'll grab the drumsticks and stack them up straight up from the snare. This is like a little higher than two drumsticks or about the two, two drumsticks high. That's a great starting point to be about the length of two drumsticks straight up from the middle of the snare and it's pointing directly down at the snare. So it's going to cover a lot of the kit, but it's not pointing around the room. That's where you start and you have to guess the first time. But throw it up there and then grab the second mic and this is an over the shoulder mic. Okay, So it's going to be over the right shoulder of the drummer, if he's a typical right handed drummer, pointing down at either the snare or at the beater head of the kick drum or a combination in between and you're just guessing where you, or you place it at first so just put it over his shoulder but what you want to do is measure it because what we want to do is make sure that both of these microphones are the exact same distance from the middle of the snare and the exact same distance from the middle of the center of beater of the kick drum for two reasons one it keeps the, the image of the snare and the kick drum in the middle so if you record it hand these left and right, if they're the same distance, then the snare and the kick drum will sound like they're still in the middle. And this is really important, especially if you're only going with two mics for your whole kit. Otherwise, it sounds like the kick drum's a little bit in the left, the snare's a little bit in the right. That's weird. Two is, in general, it's phase relationship. It keeps the, the snare and the kick drum in phase. And that just means when he hits the snare, if it takes a little bit longer to get to one mic than the other, it's going to start to cancel out the sound in between each mic. So you start to lose some of the punchiness of the sound. It'll sound horrible. So this is a really easy way to measure it. Grab a mic cable, if you, or you can get a string, but I just have a, a regular mic cable. Have your drummer place it right up on his uh, kick drum head. So he's just taking the beater and pinning it to the kick drum with his foot to hold it in place at the center of the kick drum. And then you're just going to pull it up so it's touching the bottom of your first overhead mic and you're going to pinch that area. So now we know that's the distance of the kick drum to the first overhead. And then get your drummer to hold the rest of the cable taut to the center of the snare. So we've made just like a, like a triangle. And so where my fingers are is the point that's the same distance from the snare and the kick drum. And then all you do is bend this over. And then this is the distance that this mic needs to be. So then I can adjust it slightly back it up and make sure this is touching the same point of the mic cable and you're golden. doesn't have to be completely precise but that gets you within almost perfect phase that we know that these two mics are the same distance from the kick drum and the snare drum. That, that is it. That, if you can get that right you're going to get a great sound and what you're going to want to do is record it, listen back. If you want more or less cymbals you can move them up or down, remeasure, track it. So what we're going to do is let Speedy play. You can take a listen to the whole kit just on these mics, and then I'll bring in the spot mics. I also have a kick drum mic, some toms, snares, hi-hat, but you can hear what it can do with just two mics. The Recorder Man technique. Hope you like it. Again, this is Graham from TheRecordingRevolution.com. See you on the next video.